true that we lose a lot as we age, as in mobility and functional ability, but it can also be true that what gave us so much pleasure when we were children can provide a special solace in our later years. Joining us are Ashley Brandon, Activities Director at St. Barnabas Senior Living Services, and Activities Assistant Carrie Azell. Thank you both so much Thank for coming so much over. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. What I'm referring to is the fact that children love to do anything that has to do with artistic expression. Mm -hmm. They just love everything you give them. I mean, if you gave them a, some finger paint, they'd have a, a wonderful time with it, but they're just as good at brushes, using brushes. And that kind of thing kind of gets lost as we grow. It does. As we age, it definitely true. gets lost. Mm -hmm. And yet, that's what you are very anxious to encourage your residents to be involved in. Mm -hmm. Ashley, tell me a little bit about your art therapy program. Um, the art therapy program, we're trying to use, you know, art as a means of expression for them, you know, for those who may not be able to express it, you know, maybe verbally. Mm -hmm. And at that age, you know, they can use art as that vehicle to you know, to express that emotion. So. Now, Carrie, there is a distinction we want to draw here between art therapy and arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, facilities involve uh, residents in arts and crafts, and that's well and good, but there is a different level, I think, to art therapy, at least in my perception. There is. Um, with traditional arts and crafts, you're mostly focused on the aesthetic outcome of the pieces. And the result. The result, the final work. product. Mm -hmm. And with art therapy, it's more holistic. It's more about the process. It's more about uh, what memories come up when we're doing our mm -hmm. art. What kind of conversations are we going to have from doing this art? So there is a, a very large distinction in the two. Well, you have some samples of the work that has been done by residents. We do. Mm -hmm. Barnabas. And I want to tell everybody that this is leading up to a wonderful art exhibit that we're going to be invited to. We'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> but first, show me some examples, if sure. you will. Um, we did two series of photographs. The first series, I went to residents' rooms and asked them, what is the most important item in your room? Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. I took a picture of the item and had them tell me about it, what it means to them, why it's important. And this is an example of that. This little teddy bear is very important to one of our residents. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. But that was a verbal expression. She had to tell you about that. Yes. Uh -huh. um, another series we did was a series called Homes. Oh. And I asked the residents to uh, paint a home that they had lived in. And this one is very interesting because this, as you can see, isn't a traditional home. This actually brought back memories of gardening and of crops ah, where this resident... so that was the yard lived. more than the it house was. itself. So there's very interesting yeah. things that come out when you ask people uh, to do art and a lot of say. freedom. And what about what you have there, Ashley, if you'll tell me about it very quickly, please. Well, this was actually done uh, inside of a shoe box that Carrie did with them. They took a marble and put paint inside of there, and they had to manipulate oh. the shoe box so that the paint would get spread, and then yes. they could add something to it. So. And it's perfectly beautiful. It is perfectly it beautiful. Is. Very true. <laughs> now, all these, along with many, many other ob mm -hmm. objects and paintings, will be on display at St. Barnabas. Yes. And, of course, you're located now on Siskin Drive. This is, there are two facilities. We yes. want to make sure folks go to the right one <laughs> on Siskin Drive. Yes, and uh, tell me about the, the evening. What shall we expect? Well, we're going to have some nice hors d'oeuvres. We're going to have um, lots of art for people to view on both floors. We have wheelchair paintings that residents painted with their actual wheelchairs. Um, there's just so much to discover and learn, and yes. I, I really hope people come out and see what our residents have been doing. But don't look for what we regard as the finished product. Right. Look for the, see if you can ex understand the process that went mm -hmm. into this. And the story and, behind and it. And the story behind it, exactly. Absolutely. Thank you so much, and I Thank hope you. you'll go over there between <laughs> 5 and 7 on Thursday evening. It's going to be a very special time. Don? Thank you very much. When this and that continues, we talk chamber changemakers.